They've stolen the house, the people's house, that hallowed chamber our forefathers created to both represent the people as well as be closest to the people. They've hijacked it to maintain power for themselves. They don't work for or represent you. In fact, they obstruct the work that they were sent to do by you so they can score their own political points and get the revenge they so desperately seek because they hate our commander-in-chief. These radicals who have forfeited their job representing you continue to resist, create havoc, and claim constitutional crisis. We've talked for a long time about approaching a constitutional crisis. We are now in it. We are now in a constitutional crisis. Do you agree with uh, Congressman Nadler, Chairman Nadler, that, uh, that we're in a constitutional crisis? Uh, we are. Ever wonder what a constitutional crisis looks like? Well, open your eyes. I do believe we have now entered that constitutional crisis. I'm really curious because isn't that the, the height of a constitutional, isn't that the definition of a constitutional crisis? President Trump appears to be heading toward a constitutional crisis with House Democrats as he continues to hide the Mueller report. This administration wants to have a constitutional crisis. Constitutional crisis? How? Because they can't get the full Mueller report? Are they all stupid? They have 98% of the full report. And I've got news for you, bozos. You weren't even entitled to any of it. The report was written for the attorney general by the special counsel. The attorney general decided to issue a four-page conclusion and offered skeptical Democrats a skiff, a secure facility, to see the whole report. Not one Democrat wanted to see it. So Attorney General Barr was in the impossible position of violating federal law and releasing 6E grand jury testimony or acquiescing to the demands of the radical loony left. Folks, the only constitutional crisis is the one created by Obama administration officials of a false Russia collusion spun by that master of deceit himself, Jim Comey, the disgraced former head of the FBI. We find out this week the FBI was on full notice the Steele dossier was fake even before they brought it to a FISA judge and used it as the sole basis to spy on the Trump campaign. That Prince of Darkness himself, Comey, knew all along the dossier was a fraud, even admitting to the president in January 2017 it was unverified. Yet this subversive used it to spy on the man that he and his piety felt didn't deserve to occupy the Oval Office. Comey has the Clinton clan chutzpah saying this week, we don't spy, we investigate. Jim, who are you kidding? The dossier was BS and you knew it. The FBI knew it was a political document that even had to get done before the election. Certainly not an intelligence document. Yet you signed three warrant applications based on this fake dossier. You, the FBI, the DOJ, committed a fraud on the FISA court, a massive abuse of power, a clear violation of our laws. And yet you come out of the shadows Thursday night because you know the jig is up. Yes, I think spying did occur. I believe there is a basis for my concern. I think spying on a political campaign is a big deal. The application for the warrant you presented as verified was a political document to protect your girlfriend Hillary, who you, your insubordinate self, as the IG concluded, cut loose, saying she had no intent to violate the law. And you have the nerve to say when asked if President Trump obstructed justice, it sure looks like it. Jim, you wouldn't know obstruction of justice if it slapped you in the face. Your girlfriend Hillary obstructed justice. She destroyed evidence by lying, deleting 30,000 emails, destroying phones with hammers and bleach pit, so we wouldn't know the truth. And yet the disparate treatment of Donald Trump is stunning.
In a fake Russia collusion claim, there were 3,600 subpoenas, 500 search warrants, investigations affecting 30 countries, 500 witnesses questioned, 18 lawyers, 40 investigators, criminal grand juries impaneled. The president himself handed over 1.4 million documents and never claimed executive privilege. He was harassed, threatened, persecuted, hounded, tormented, insulted, and provoked. His family, the same. And you, Cardinal Comey, dare to show your face in public? So Bill Barr is now held in contempt by the same Congress that says, to hell with the American people and their work, we want to muddy up Barr so when he starts indicting us, we can say it's all political. It's no wonder that almost 80% of Americans do not approve of the work that Congress is doing. I personally think that if these guys don't do the work we sent them there for, they shouldn't get a salary. They shouldn't get a pension nor should they be allowed to go on junkets or get free health care. And if you don't approve of the gamesmanship going on in the House of Representatives in the swamp, find out who your representative is. You can send a letter or an email or just pick up the phone. But I doubt they'll care. The only paper they respond to is this. And don't limit yourself to those in your district. We are one country, one America. If you don't like what they're doing, find out who's running against them, whether it's in a primary or a general election. And get involved. Let your voice be heard. And most importantly, start gearing up for 2020. We need a House of Representatives that represents the people in this great nation, not the people who want to remake America and maintain their own power. God help us, and God help us if we elect these same people and they stay in control of our country. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook and Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine.